One of our members, let's call him Mike, recently reached out with a challenge that I know many of you can relate to and that led me to make this video. Mike has been using Obsidian for a long time to store important business insights with the purpose of linking problems to the best solutions. So he can easily find the right strategy when he needs it. His system works well, but here's the problem. Despite having a well-functioning setup, Mike has spent a lot of time testing other tools because he feels somehow that information like meeting notes or quickly capturing articles don't work as smoothly in Obsidian as he would like. Also, what about collaboration with team members and clients? That's why he started to add LogSeq, Capacities, Apple Notes, any type, even Heptabase and Tana to his tool stack. And each time he explores a new tool, some of his notes end up there and over time, his information has become scattered across multiple apps. Now, he's unsure which tool to commit to. He's questioning whether Obsidian is really the right choice or if another app might serve him better. So he feels stuck and isn't sure if switching from Obsidian is the right move. Maybe you're using a different tool than so Obsidian, but it probably still sounds familiar. If you've been hopping between note-taking apps, unsure whether to stick with one or keep exploring others, this video is for you. So let's dive in. Baby, let's move on. Your productivity. Let's talk about the real problem here. Too many tools and too little clarity. Here's the thing. The problem isn't that Obsidian doesn't work for Mike. It clearly does. The real issue is the lack of a clear structure for how he uses different tools. Mike isn't struggling because his system is broke. He is struggling because his business knowledge is scattered across multiple apps, making it hard to know where to put new information and where to find the old nodes when he needs them. This is the danger of tool hopping. Instead of improving productivity, it often creates more mental friction. Every time Mike needs to retrieve something, he has to ask himself, where did I store that strategy node? Was that solution in Obsidian or did I drop it into Capacities, Tana or any other tool? The result? Wasted time, unnecessary frustration and no real sense of control over his system. And contrarily, let's talk about the one tool myth, why you probably shouldn't use one app for everything. A common mistake is thinking that one tool should handle everything. But this often leads to even more confusion and frustration, like we have seen for Mike trying to use Obsidian for everything. Instead of trying to force all knowledge into that single app, a better approach is to define clear roles for each tool and stick to them. For example, in Mike's case, stick with Obsidian as the core knowledge base for structured long-term business insights. And then he could use Tana for real-time outlining if he likes an outline experience, if that helps with brainstorming and structuring thoughts, and then use it as a dedicated tool for the start of a thought process that might then move on into Obsidian as a refined thought and expand it there for deep thinking purposes. Or use it, for example, also for meeting notes instead of dumping everything into one system, which also leads to overloading that system with unnecessary information that makes it even harder then to find relevant information in the same system, as it is full with different information types. In this approach, Mike begins to differentiate between what we refer to in the ICO methodology as shallow thinking and deep thinking. Obsidian will serve as his deep thinking system, while Tana will be his shallow thinking system. The goal is not to eliminate all tools except one, but rather to ensure that each tool fulfills a specific intentional purpose. This way, when Mike needs to capture information, he knows exactly where to store it and Consequently, where to find it later. So how to fix a scattered system? First, here's a simple test to know if your system is working. Whenever you need to look something up, do you immediately know which tool to open and where to find that information inside the tool? If you need it more than a second to think about the answer, your system needs clearer boundaries. And here are the three steps to fix it. First, define your core application. If Obsidian is where most of Mike's valuable knowledge lives, he should stick with it and let it remain his main knowledge base. Second, assign specific roles to other tools. Don't use five different apps for the same purpose. Mike should decide 
what each tool is for and stop adding more to his tool stack unless he really needs to and he defined exactly what each tool should do. Third, clean up scattered nodes. If information is spread across multiple apps with no clear structure, take time to consolidate or migrate it. Reduce fragmentation so there's no second guessing where things belong. And here's my final advice. Stop chasing shiny objects. It's easy to get distracted by new tools popping up on YouTube, in conversations with colleagues, or even in the paperless movement community. But here's the truth. The best tool is the one you use with clarity, purpose, and on a daily basis. For Mike, the solution wasn't to find a new tool. It was to get intentional about the tools he was already using. He didn't need help the base. He didn't need yet another app. He needed structure and discipline in how he managed his business insight. If you're in the same situation, simplify your system and commit to your choices. That's how you get true productivity without the endless cycle of switching apps. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever struggled with tool hopping and how you're working to fix it. And keep in mind, stay calm. You don't need to figure everything out today. If you want to stop second guessing, you're now taking setup and build a system that truly works for you, check out our digital note taking and PKM like a pro courses. You get structured lessons, expert guidance from Paco and me and actionable frameworks to help you clarify exactly what you need. Or if you're unclear about the state of your overall productivity system, join our free membership and take our productivity system evaluation quiz to assess where you stand and identify your next steps. Get started today. Take control of your knowledge management and let's i -core together. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your colleagues and subscribe so I can catch you up next time.